you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest Citanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can Psyblast anywhere you want. Thanks. Psyblast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here, I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, not like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry, I'll be right here with you, inside your head. My head? Yep, I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah, I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp's door, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. 
You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust distorts the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for a nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. I still need to buy a side core at the camp store before I can use this machine to make side challenge markers. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kreller? Drop me outside the main lodge. Oh, bring me back a burger this time, will you? Not by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. What are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? Uh... Okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best! Just like my main homie! And when you say hope... Getting you down. I've got just the device up here. In the hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Not to worry, my bro. Let's just pick it up from the part where I do that thing. Over two, three, four. Yep. Hey, Phoebe, can I ask you a question? Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. There may be a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? 
Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to be rid of the webs. And now with that, now, you take that Psy core there, put it together with nine Psy cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new Psy channel sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Now, that's it for now. You take that start. <laughs> Go get more airheads and come on. Hey, where's my hamburger? I, I told you. Just kidding. I just want to buy stuff. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with this spatula. Now, you take I'll that take side it. sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? That's it for now. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. <laughs> Look at those two. Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn. Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Think hate. Come on now, just look at something, and then use your new power. Great, great! Now, burn the rest. You're getting warmer. Keep, come on now, just look at- Ooh, it's getting hot in here, son. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Think heat. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs>